Hi everyone, welcome. Oh, hello. I'm just talking. Welcome to Footloose Eventing and welcome to this week's vlog. This week I've got something a little bit different for you because the clocks has just changed. We are going into winter. Ugh. And we all know as equestrians, winter is incredibly difficult. It's quite expensive because horses have to come in, we're using more bedding, we have to feed all the forage in the world. So this vlog today is just my own cost saving tip which I have actually adapted over the years to kind of help. And obviously we're in a bit of a cost of living crisis at the moment which doesn't make things easier. I mean the most obvious answer would be to you know sell all these wonderful things but we can't because we're all crazy. Think about how much money I'd have if I didn't have you Lara, hey? Okay? Okay. So if you're new to my channel I will give you just a little bit of a explanation about my situation. So I have three horses, well I've got two horses, Lara, Ember and then I've got a tiny little pony, Bonnie. My horses are on essentially a DIY yard so I pay a monthly livery but it means obviously I have to do it myself so I have to provide all hay feed with DIY generally um, you do it all yourself everything every last little bit anyway so um, I think we should uh, crack on hello you're hiding you're filthy Right, so I'm going to kick off with probably the most expensive of the lot, and that would be bedding. Uh, so, personally, I like to keep my horses in as little as possible. So all through the summer, the horses have been out literally as much as possible. Sometimes if it's raining and I need to ride, I'll bring them in and they'll just chill in their stables for a bit, have a snooze. But then I like to get them out because Lara really doesn't particularly like being in. In the winter, obviously, you need to give your paddocks a little bit of a rest sometimes. And um, so mine will either, haven't quite decided yet, they'll either be coming in during the day for a few hours or overnight but it just means I have to get up super, 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 super early in the morning. Bonnie and Ember, they have gone on to... Da -da -da. Straw. <laughs> I don't really like straw, but it is definitely the most cost effective. So Bonnie is on deep litter, uh, which means basically I just skip her out. The pee goes to the bottom and has formed like a base. Now that sounds gross, guys, but honestly, she's so small and her feet are so small. She doesn't trash up at her bed at all. And it just means in terms of bedding, I use the bare minimum and her bed stays really nice and fluffy. Obviously, if there's big wet pee patches, then yes, I'll take them out, but generally, Deep litter for Bonnie is really good. Ember, however, is not on deep litter because he has got rubber matting in his stables. He is also pretty rank. So I just take out his uh, bed every day, all the wet, everything. Um, but I only use probably a bale a week of straw and a bale of straw is like three quid. Whereas shavings like eight pounds bale and it doesn't last as long. So yeah. Do the maths there guys i think i know what i prefer so if i could have them all on straw i would but sadly lara uh she's got a dust allergy so straw is good if you have a horse without a dust allergy and who does not eat it ember doesn't eat straw bonnie weirdly doesn't eat straw lara eats straw gets dust allergy starts coughing not good so she has to be on wood chip so that is the first tip this is lara's bed <laughs> Um, it's quite thick actually, it's a good like six inches in depth and um, okay I really can't film in here. You are being very difficult. She says I'm snoozing, I'm snoozing, go away. Oh, who that's was in the camera? Boy. Ember's just spotted the fact that there's a hidey hole in the tack room. <laughs> it's a treat hatch, Ember. You don't know this yet because this is a new stable. Do you want to see the treat hatch in action? Ready? Good boy. That's the treat hatch. The treat hatch is being closed now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Very happy with his nice 
lovely, fluffy, fresh straw bed, aren't you? Yes. Yes, he says, yes, I am. Next up, next up, next up, we're going to the feed room. Luke! So, currently, Ember and Lara are fed the Conley's Red Mills. Horse care. Oh my god, horse care ultra cubes, uh, which contains a fantastic nutritional care package. What is a nutritional care package? Basically, it is scientifically developed to help with an array of functions. This feed I found really helps keep them in condition because Ember, being a stressy racehorse, you know, he's had ulcers in the past. And this, guys, fun fact, is the only feed out there with a natural gastric buffer included. So if I'm helping try and avoid those pesky ulcers, then this is the feed for him. Lara, on the other hand, she, when she's in hard work, she drops condition like that. And a few years ago, she dropped a load of condition. And I'm hoping this year with this feed, which I know is going to help, because uh, she's looking better than ever at the moment. It's just, I get peace of mind. So how is this going to help you save money? I hear you ask. Having had this feed with the nutritional care package in, I don't have to be feeding millions of other supplements on top because this feed has everything that you need in it. So I don't need to be spending money on loads of vitamins, minerals, all these different balances that you get because they're included in the feed. Because if you're just feeding like a usual, you know, mix or pony nuts or something, you don't know that they've got the right vitamins and minerals, therefore you have to supplement on top. However, this has got it all in it. There are occasions where you do need additional support from supplements. So I use the foreign equine. Well, basically it's the um, electrolytes for any hard work that I do. Not I, <laughs> the horses do, um, just to replenish their salts. stuff we use in the kilos, tons worth in the winter because you have to keep constant supply of forage to uh, keep your horse happy and healthy. So when my horses are in the stable, I like to try and uh, mimic their natural way of grazing as much as possible. There is a alternative solution where you can get your horse to eat in a natural way and not have to worry about hay waste and that is obviously my third very important money saving tip because isn't it annoying when you think oh I want my horse to stretch down and eat like a normal horse but then they get hay everywhere and they poo in it and then they don't eat it yeah that's really annoying however I will say if my horses do do that they will then sleep on it because I'm not wasting anything the beady eyed among you may have spotted that I use a hay feeder and this particular hay feeder um, is the nose bags hay feeder. And basically, this goes up in the corner of the stable. It is mesh. It is mesh. It has loopy holes here, which attach to like a metal ring that are drilled into the wall. And uh, it means that if your horse gets its leg in it, because you know, horses are stupid and they do those kind of things, then it will come away from the wall and you don't have to worry about that safety aspect. But it keeps the hay in and it stops the waste. Every day I take the old hay out. Oof, Put it to one side, put the new hay in and put the old hay on top so that Lara, specifically, she's very fussy, she likes new hay every day, but as I said, I don't like waste and she will eat it. This is one that I've got for Ember so he can join the crew because Bonnie has one. I need to move hers to the other side of her stable, however I'm not trusted with the drill. <laughs> Another really very specific tip, which I can't stress is important enough, is to uh, turn the lights off, guys, just because, you know, those energy bills, whew, rocketing at the moment. Right, guys, there you go. There are some invaluable top tips from Footloose Eventing there of how to save money over this very difficult time we are about to face but don't worry we're all in it together we're all in the same boat but I have found that these making these switches have really made a massive difference to the old bank balance if you have any tips of your own that I'm totally missing out on then uh, hit me up let me know in the comments below because I appreciate any sort of feedback <laughs> because it really 
really it really does help and I'm sure everyone else would like to know too if you enjoyed this vlog give it a big thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you are following along regularly uh, you've got some fun things in store because next week guys Lara Lee is going team chasing so make sure you stay tuned for that vlog whilst we prepare for the inevitable chaos which will unfail it's not gonna be chaos it's just gonna be really fun so I will see you guys then have a good week ciao -y. Ooh, <laughs> bye